<laughs> funny thing out there. This is like special section. <laughs> yeah. And uh, here all the photos of the cars are taken ah, here. This see, space. Right. I didn't know that you got this space. Oh. You want to drive it? Oh, no, it's cool. Drive. Sure? Yeah. Oh. Drive. Drive. All right. All right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just getting in it. Sensitive Yeah. <laughs> getting in it is a workout. A leg workout. <laughs> Most random things happen in Dubai. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what an actual tank. It's good when you feel like you are uh, that high, <laughs> not like the other cars. It's an actual tank, it's amazing. Hey, the visibility's good. Mm -hmm. It's like a sophisticated monster truck. Yeah. <laughs> so as you turn, left here, the side you. bolsters inflate and keep you upright. Yeah, as crazy as this sounds, sport mode. The throttle response is sharp. Yeah, well we're good, look at that. There you go. You turn. It's practical. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was that was an experience. Sure. That was very cool. I appreciate how, it. How, how, did you enjoy the experience? Yeah, it was awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. Beats an Uber. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm here, just the architecture is unbelievable. At night time it looks like Blade Runner, and in the daytime it just looks like pure CGI. Like if you weren't here, and you've never been here before, and you showed someone this, you'd be like, nice render, when's it coming? <laughs> it's unbelievable. I actually don't know how many of us there are, but I've got a feeling it's gonna be quite a significant Porsche event. Sorted it out. Look, have you never seen a cooler support car? This is the Dakar coffee car. Full of fresh coffee. So we're gonna take this up to the top of the Double J's and then we're always gonna have a fresh supply of coffee and cinnamon rolls. It's gonna be 50 cars. Uncut, right? Yeah, yeah, 50 cars. 50 Porsches. Come and look at this. I think this is my favorite car already. How awesome. Rotiform wheels with the martini. Those rotiform wheels with the martini liveries. We interviewed a guy on stage who lived in here. Uh -huh. I'm not sure I could pull off living in one. I was going to say that's not stuck. Yeah, so that came much faster than the car itself. Right. And yeah, this is called the forest green metallic. So like, in the sunlight, that's when you see it. Yeah. Yeah. How stunning is that? Yeah. You know, it's not often in the UK that the forest green looks how you imagine it looks because we don't have the, the sunlight quite like this. You're right. So, so to see this looks beautiful. Pretty much on the blacker tone. Um, yeah. I, mean, uh, I, I believe. But then this, so probably at noon, yeah. is going to be like uh, emeraldish. Yes, at noon. You will Brilliant. see today. Okay, the long yeah. Oh. You can add these <laughs> details of all of that. So. Wow. That's cool. I really love that you went for these. The That's the whole the point of the tour. Exactly. Uh, the whole so point of the tour. Personally, I don't get the point of uh, getting bucket seats on them. Sure. Yeah, I agree. Uh, probably yeah. on the ST, I understand. Sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You got to have the sports seats, 100%. Uh, yeah. and you'll know why when we drive up there. So, <laughs> sure. yeah. Yeah. yeah, it adds to the whole point of it, really. Because yes. really, otherwise, if you, it, it, you could be at risk of it being a, a GT3 with no wing. True. You know exactly. Yeah. So this and, is. And uh, if it's a touring, it's a touring for a reason, and then you want to stick by it. Exactly that. That's a spec. <laughs> How have you not seen Days of Thunder, the no, greatest driving no. film ever made? Let me just clarify this. I have seen it. I was just like 14. Oh. <laughs> so I've not seen it for a long time. I've watched it twice in the last two weeks. Well, man, I might download it for the Watch it on the plane, yeah. There you go, watch it on the plane. Little, yeah, you read my mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, it makes sense. In the UK, we think with a different hat on. You know, we're like, uh, it would be a real pain when it rains to put it up and down. But here, I think Cage just leaves his roof down for a time. Some 
Porsches. Look at this. That's a great smell. It's aftermarket. Special, huh? Really, really cool. Look at this view. Oh! Thumbnail? Ridiculous. It would be the Pikes Peak of the Middle East. It would be amazing. Not that I would classify that in any way it's safe, but but it would be safer than Pikes Peak because I don't think Pikes Peak has any sort of barriers that mm. sort of go off the edge. Whereas here, at least you would interface with a concrete barrier before you would reach your inevitable demise. Cars, chassis 299. One day, probably when I'm old and retired and these have gone to 5 million euros, <laughs> but if you compare them with like F50 prices, right? If you look at it on paper in terms of platform, it's quite close in ethos to our F50. Yes, they made a lot more of them, but F50 values have just gone so ridiculous in comparison. I still think long term these are going to be unbelievable. Yeah, we have our own manufacturing now in Switzerland, so they're all Swiss made. Yeah. Design is still from Cell and, and Zucker. Yeah. And it's kind of cool that it's revived because I mean yeah. back in like it used to be in my hotel we started it, but it was kind of like they were in GQ in like 73 or something. It's like this kind of cool little design studio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm living in Poland basically. Like Cell is a tiny place. And that Porsche yeah. design is just like kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's becoming bigger and bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's so much cool heritage stuff in the thing. Yeah, I bet. Putting, putting more so much emphasis. So sick. I love it. Very cool. Listen, just catch you later on. Wrap up is I wish I could stay up here and talk to all these really cool people all day. <laughs> but now we have to go down and rehearsals for the Icon to Portrait event starts at that one. It's 11.30 and it's an hour and a half drive, so should be good timing. This amazes me. We are 24 hours out from this show being being live. Look, Look they put right screens here. at the end of the oh, containers. Cool. The end of the containers, the screens, the big screen at the back. Do you remember the drummer last year that played and it was like spraying water all over? Yeah, it? yeah. That was cool. So this is us, man. This looks good. Oh, it's huge. They didn't have that last year. Look at the size of that. What is that? It's incredible what they do for this is two days' work. I think they've been constructing this for a month. Who are you texting? Texting Julia to get Jenny's number, who's in charge of the s scheduling and production. And then I think we're gonna have a run through. This is when I get my cards with all of the info on. And then we do a run through and see how it feels. And if, if there's parts which don't feel natural, then we, then we end up going, can we change this and change that? And... Actually, here's Jenny. I did, we just walked in. Here she is. How's it going? Look at you with your own car. I know, right? Well, it's really, nice. It's, it's Chris's. Really, I've hijacked Chris's, it. You've really grown the stage big time. Yeah, right. It's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. It's right? really cool. Yeah. It's amazing. I love these screens on yeah. the end of the it's containers. It's gonna be epic. Lame question. Yeah. What's the Wi-Fi like here? Uh, there will be Wi-Fi. 
will be? Yeah, it's just not up and running yet, but there will be. There will be. Well, for both, I We need to do some things. Videos to upload. No, I came for the key. Oh, wow. I don't appreciate the high five, though. The boss man. How are you doing? Good to see you. How's everything? Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Nice. Drew, Drew already told you that you're going to be around. I was going like, okay, oh, yeah? I'm gone. I'm, I'm out. Of I'm here, out. <laughs> no, I'm good, man. Good to be here, mate. It's gone by like this whole year. Yeah. Blown by. Yeah. Yeah. So, just of course, I saw you at the Festival of Speed. Yeah. Yeah. Phil yeah. just got back exactly. from Monterey. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. Uh, yeah. was busy down there and now yeah. cool. flying over here. And yeah. How was the Ren Sport reunion? Good? It was good. It was a little chaotic at times but it was overall it was good despite the saturday we had rain like no freaking tomorrow and cold and, and wind up there i was standing up there on the hill all the time oh, really did it, it was did you bring the, the ren sport gt3 uh, here no i got the uh i got the st the yachting it's actually a heritage car but, but with a pts yachting blue and the Very Ruby cool. Star by Saf, uh, Spider Horrors. I love that we're using a brand new ST as a prop here. We're driving the ST up and down stage, putting a marker here for the drivers so they know where to park the car on stage, so it's central. It's just funny that we're using a new ST. Incredible car. Frank, welcome. Done. We're now going to go and check out the launch of this car. I think it just launched in Shanghai. The pictures look amazing. So we're going to go in and see what this thing looks like from the front. It's evil. Can't wait to see it. So it's going to be quite dramatic when it opens. It'll be cool. It also, when it does open, it's going to overlook the whole of the Icons of Porsche show. So as a backdrop, pretty special. The new Porsche thing is the revised front design. I always thought the previous generation was a little bit soft. It's just added like enough aggressiveness to it without it being too imposing. It's just what it needed. That front aesthetic is what it needed. It's way more sculpture, a bit more aggressive. I remember when they launched this on Instagram a few months back. The comments were so Marmite. They were so split. But when you see it in person, it's so crisp, so clean. It's beautiful. But there is a lot going on. There's a lot of screens. <laughs> Substantial horsepower combined with that hybrid drivetrain. Was it 980 meter meters of torque? It's an like absurd number. Came from factory on the new Michelin Pilot Sport 5. That's cool. And rated. So these were specifically developed for this car. N rating is a Porsche rating, so it's a Porsche specific developed tire. Actually the rear. In photos it looks a bit soft. With that full width illuminated light on waiting for the full estate version as it were, but pretty good stuff. thing as well and uh, yeah my job is to be together with my team and all the, the guys taking care of those precious ambassadors of our heritage yeah, to keep them run and I think we have a perfect example with us. Perfect. So come on let's just bring it up and let's get talking about this 917. Well, that's an entrance. Come on, look at that. 
Phenomenal. We're here celebrating 75 years of Porsche, 60 years of the 911. One, two, three, 911! The segment that's about to come up uh, is one that I've been looking forward to sharing all weekend. You guys are here at the right time. This wasn't something that we shared yesterday. Of all the entrances we've had, you make the best. It's the fastest and the loudest. It's cool.